Tonight, we're taking you deep under Tuscaloosa in the final part of our series, Tunnels Under Tuscaloosa. Now, people that have grown up in the Tuscaloosa area have probably heard stories about slave tunnels that run under the city of Tuscaloosa. Now, WVUA's Matt McCoy joins us live with more on that. Matt? Thanks, Philip. That's right. It's hidden deep within the Jemison Mansion, an opening that leads down to the inside of the earth. Legend says it's that what helped the slaves escape during the Civil War, but it's the legend based on facts, or is it just a story spun up different ways throughout the years? Was, it's a myth that has been and, passed uh, around through many generations in Tuscaloosa. The, a slave uh, tunnel that runs from the Jemison Mansion to the Black Warrior River. According to legend, Robert Jemison used the tunnel to help his slaves get away while Croxton was invading Tuscaloosa. But is this legend correct? And we can go down into the tunnel. Ah, here we go. This is the tunnel, and it's not really the tunnel. It is uh, what everyone believes, uh, or what, uh, where the legend of the tunnel begins. This is actually an early form of refrigeration. Now, where did the, the myth that this was a, an old slave tunnel come in, to, into play? Well, you've got, um, uh, you've got a big, grand, mysterious house, and you add to that that a few people may have come down and seen, you know, without a light, just that there's this hole in, in, the, in the floor, and where does it go? According to Ian, the myth of the slave tunnels came from when the Birchfields right, right, lived in the house. In Their three in, boys uh, and, uh, were considered riffraffs around the city. What, um, he and his brothers were troublemakers. They got into trouble and um, they would go out into town and uh, sneak into pool halls and things like that. And when they got caught, you know, their police or authorities would, would chase them and they'd dive into the sewer system. And uh, they would come up to the pump house, run across the street into this house. So this is basically just a hole in the this ground. This is a straight down hole in the ground. Okay. Sorry to ruin everyone's <laughs> <laughs> no, excitement. I mean, no, it's I mean it's it's amazing like that people just think that that the, you know this was used. All the all the speculation I guess of these these slave tunnels under Tuscaloosa just they don't exist. Right, right, right. And and so and of course you know Tuscaloosa has different coal mines, different sewer systems, different tunnels, and it's not uncommon for you know a lot of these older houses to have some sort of well, either dry well or wet well. And so when you do different work in excavation and construction, you're going to find. Right. Mysterious pits and different <laughs> things like that. So the, the, the myth that there is a slave tunnel from the Jemison to the Black Warrior for escaping slaves. We've, we've busted it. <laughs> <laughs> busted it. Got it. Now, Phil, you, uh, you've, you've grown up here in Tuscaloosa. Right. You've actually heard these stories. Yes, I've heard them. As a Tuscaloosa native as I am, I've heard these stories for quite a few years, and I've uh, heard it both ways, that it was uh, a way for the slaves to escape, but also I've heard it was a way to sneak slaves into the city after transporting slaves had been declared illegal, it was a, a way, allegedly, of sneaking slaves into the city. So I've uh, kind of heard it uh, both ways. Uh, either way, very fascinating stuff, and you've done an excellent job of covering it. Thank you, and uh, I want to say a quick thank you to Ian Crawford with the Jemison and all the staff there that helped us put this story together. You can find more information about the Jemison Mansion by going to our website, wvuatv.com, clicking on numbers and links. There you can find a link to their website to get more information on ours and, and ways you can tour the house. So. All right. Thank you very much, Matt.